Hello there. I am jumping on here to do a, a video that's a little bit different than the ones that I've done in the past. This one is a little bit more just of probably more like daily inspirations, things that jump out to me through what I'm listening to, what I'm consuming, either reading or through audiobooks or through videos of various teachers. And what I've been starting, I've, I've actually done it for a while um, in repeating over and over each day certain things that I'm listening to and certain things that I want to consume. I'm very much into learning how and experimenting, not experimenting, but really diving into reprogramming of my own subconscious mind. I've seen the great power in it. I mean, it's been spoken about for very many years and there's so much scientific evidence and just evidence in people in general and just doing different things and programming things in their subconscious and having profound changes in what they think and the results that come of that. So I'm extremely interested in it. I've done it before. I've reprogrammed myself in extreme ways, oftentimes without even knowing it. And now that I'm consciously aware of what, what, what happened back then, um, it's really exciting because now is the opportunity that I get to be able to really focus in on what it is I want and apply the things that have worked for me in the past in aiming toward what exactly it is I want to do and who I want to become in the process. I've, I've honed in on and really um, have been reminded of the fact of selecting the type of stuff that I allow into my subconscious by being around and consuming and focusing in on and only allowing like the gates open to my subconscious on things that I want in there and to limit the things that I don't want into my subconscious. So it doesn't mean I can't be around anything that's not in alignment with what it is I'm, I'm wanting to program my subconscious. It's just having the guard up and really being conscious and aware of what is in my surroundings and consciously thinking, okay, that idea or that belief is that person's. I see that and I respect that. I choose not to adopt that into my behavior or to my beliefs. I choose not to believe that. And so often I find myself doing this in different teachings. Um, one teacher might have many, many different topics or different um, ways that they go about teaching it and their beliefs around it. And so I like listening to new teachers, reading new content. And if something comes across that doesn't really, there's a process I go through of, of seeing if it's in harmony with what um, I'm aiming toward. And I can consciously, there are oftentimes I will consciously, when listening to something, say, I choose not to accept that. I'll just hear it and I just choose not to accept that. It doesn't mean that in the future I won't choose to accept that belief. There have been many times that I've um, rejected certain things and later as I developed and grew, I found myself more in harmony with that one teacher that in previous times um, I chose not to accept it. And some things just don't feel right at all and I may never go into accepting it. Now there's also great power in being aware of it, having an understanding, understanding that that belief is right for that person and, and, and gaining an awareness to the fact and the beauty of so many different perspectives. So it's just really a matter of lining up information that feels in harmony with my mind and my, my heart where that alignment is as far as putting it toward my vision and my goal. So in that, one of the things that has really stood out to me is to consume things over and over again, the same material over and over again, because each time that I do, I get a new perspective, a new look at it. There's something else that jumps out of it because every time I do it, it doesn't matter even if I listen to it and I just start the, the replay over again, I'm in a different position. There's new things that have come into my environment within that short period of time. So the, the shift, there's always going to be a shift when consuming even data that you've already consumed before. So I've had great um, great benefits from listening to certain books or audio books over and over again. And it was something that I just kind of, I think, fell into in when I heard it, it felt really good. It felt in alignment with where I was heading. And so 
a couple days later, just list, listen to it again. And I really think I started the habit um, that I consciously know of when um, probably about four or five years ago when I started listening to motivational videos and when I had that big really reprogramming of myself. Um, and oftentimes I found myself just re-listening to Les Brown. Oftentimes I would, I would be listening to new videos, but his story... Uh, he he either says the same story or has very similar stories, stories, and so I got to know his story that he was putting out very very well, and there were certain video videos that I enjoyed listening to of his, so I'd listen to them over and over, and that had had a profound effect on the way I viewed myself and the actions that I took from that, and so um, consciously that's where I'm aware of me consuming audio over and over again of the same source and it really um, positively impacting me. And so I've done it before. Um, um, I think it was As Man Thinketh. I did like a 30 day stretch of doing that, um, listening to at least parts of it over and over again. And um, so one thing that had been introduced and, and suggested to me is to listen to Earl Nightingale's The Strangest Secret at least once a day. It's a very short clip, um, at least once a day over and over again for at least 30 days. And so I, I was familiar with that recording. I did enjoy it. And so I, I said, why not go ahead and do that. And so I started doing that, um, several times I would listen to it throughout the day, um, at the very minimum being once a day. And I, I enjoyed it so much. And what the biggest thing that I, the biggest takeaway that I gained that's impacting me right now is that it is um, each day there's something new, a, something that I needed to, to hear and something that resonated with me in listening to that. And so with that is really what, what inspired these videos. So not only have I been listening to Earl Nightingale's The Strangest Secret every day, it has inspired me to um, get back to as a man thinketh and listening to that or part of it once a day. And the reason what led me to that is because through the strangest secret and through the studying and the reprogramming of the subconscious mind, it has led me to a point of really being honest and looking at the things that I need to look at. And realizing and being aware of the habits that I'm doing that is a habit of going towards something that doesn't feel good and just ugh, shifting and moving away and going into a different direction instead of looking at it and breaking it down and seeing if it's do I just really not want to go in that direction or is it just because I'm that feels yucky and I'm going to go in this direction and so looking at that and getting in tune and realizing there are a lot of things that I, I still need to face. I do enjoy facing things, but oftentimes I wait until it's like slapping me in the face kind of thing. It's like, all right, let's take it on now. Yeah, I'll do it. Um, but now that I'm taking a more pro proactive approach as the person, as the Melanie in the future, that would be would be doing that. Would That would just see something starting to develop in the wrong way. Okay, let's take a look at it now. That's the type of person that I'm aiming to be. And so in doing that, um, I know that as a man thinketh, what happened last time when I listened to it or parts of it each day, things in my environment started to get a lot tidier, organized, clean, and just really felt in alignment and good. I felt good on the inside and everything that re was reflecting on the outside was reflecting that back to me, that, that what was going on within me was really in alignment and felt good. And so facing different things that are going on, I realize, okay, this is the time, go ahead and dive into as a man thinketh because things are getting out of alignment and I don't want that to happen. And it's reflecting to me in my exterior environment. So I looked at what was going on and I realized, okay, what my environment is telling me is that it's time to get back in alignment and face what I need to face and deal with it and, and hit it head on. So what helps me with that is going to as a man thinketh. And so I started that 
listening it to it and what jumped out to me today. So this whole thing, just getting back to basically what these videos will be, um, is just listening and what I will be listening to repetitively, what it is that jumps out to me that day. It doesn't mean I'll be making videos every day, but if it's something that just really needed to be made, then I will make it. So right off the bat, um, in As Man Thinketh, which doesn't happen all of the way, all of the time, oftentimes with um, the, the strangest secret, you know, when I'm looking for something, I think when I'm looking for that, you know, what is it going to be today? It takes a moment. And I, the process I go through with that is it's while I'm out for my walk or my run. And so what's really great there is I can just kind of settle into, I kind of do like a meditative state and um, then then it's just whatever jumps out really jumps out because I'm just kind of zoning and then suddenly something is my in my awareness. Um, and and sometimes it does take a while. But with As A Man Thinketh, I just, I just said, hey, it's time to listen to this again because I need to start getting some stuff organized and in alignment and really focus back on the organizational part of um, me and my life. And so um, what jumped out to me is, um, it's really just right on page six if you have the book. It says, cause and effect is an absolute and undeviating in the hidden realm of thought as in the world of visible and material things. So cause and effect is an absolute and undeviating in the hidden realm of thought as it in the world of visible and material things. And it's just like the, the law that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. We know how this works as far as physical things. So if you apply force to something, that energy is going to be, it's going to have its effect on something else. But what, what really is beautiful about this is it's saying it's, it, it's as absolute and undeviating in the hidden realm of thought. So when you think something, creating that thought, that's going to have a cause and effect, just like in the physical realm. So what you think, it's going to have a reaction to it. There's going to be something created from it. So um, it just, that one really, really stood out to me. And it was funny because then I went back when I heard the audio, I went back to my book, grabbed it so I could highlight it in my book. And I had highlighted the sentence after the, the, the um, yeah, the sentence after. So it was kind of funny, like obviously I, that part of the book stood out to me before, but just that different part caught my attention this time. And so the, the area around it, it says, human growth is a natural phenomenon and not a creation of artifice. Cause and effect is an absolute and undeviating. Cause and effect is as absolute and undeviating in a hidden realm of thought, as in the world of visible and material things. A noble and godlike character is not a thing of favor or chance, but is the natural result of continuous effort and right thinking. The effect of long cherished, cherished association with godlike thought. So to have a God life, God-like existence, you have to have the God-like thoughts. Any an ignoble and bestial character by the same process is the result of continued harboring of groveling thoughts. So really what you put in your brain and what you allow to stay there, the thoughts that you allow and continue to repeat over and over in your mind, are going to have an effect on what comes of that, what is reflected in your reality. So um, that was just the one that, that jumped out to me today. And I hope this was um, beneficial to you in some way. So please share what it is that stands out to you or a process that you have in reprogramming your subconscious. Thank you. Have a great day.